get into the discovery. And in the discovery, you want to get some feelings out, but you also want some concrete answers as far as how their vacation. Many a times, I will blend the discovery in with the warm up, especially if I ask them, wow, where did you go last year? And they tell me, this is where I ask them, how did that make you feel as a family? You want to get into their hearts at this point. Simplify the discovery as well. Let them know that many, many vacations are not taken because there is no plan. An example I will do, or I do with a family, is first of all, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, have you ever been on a time-sharing presentation before? Most likely they have. Great. And when was the last one you went on? Who was it with? And may I ask you, did you take advantage of it? Are you owner somewhere else? Most likely they'll say no. And let me ask you, maybe there were several factors, maybe only one factor, but what was the main factor that kept you from taking advantage of that particular product? And they will respond. They could respond, well, uh, we went there for the gifts, just like we're here for the gifts. Your response should be, that's fine. Well, let me ask you this. If you had an opportunity to get a lot more for a lot less money, that is, wouldn't it make sense for you to do so? In other words, and, 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 and folks, here I'm referring to uh, the person that wants everything for free. Example, you tell me you're staying at the, at the Super 8 Motel or at the Holiday Inn. And if you checked into the Holiday Inn and the front desk clerk said to you, by the way, uh, you're our 100th uh, check-in today, you get the presidential suite at no extra charge for what you're paying for a regular hotel room. Would you take it? You would, wouldn't you? It's exactly what we're talking about here today. So I understand you're coming to these presentations for your free gift, and that's all fine and dandy. But please, don't sell yourself short. If you see something that's going to be advantageous for you and your family, and beneficial, you should consider taking advantage of it, don't you think? So let me ask you, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, or Mr. Jones, how many vacation days does your employer give you? Write it down. Mr. Jones, do you work outside the home? Never just ask the wife if she works. Domestic engineers, which are homemakers, work very hard. And should most likely she say yes, and how many vacation days does your employer give you? Now, as you're writing all these answers down of the next few questions I'm going to ask them, the key here is to memorize them as you're writing them down. So when you do a discovery confirmation in the end, you're gonna look them straight in the eye and you're gonna give them all the answers that they gave you. My friends, this is powerful. This, most likely, no other sales executive has done to them in the past. And what this is going to do, they're gonna to turn to, to each other or to themselves in their mind and say, wow, this individual actually cares. You want to show that you that you care about them. You want to show them that you're actually trying to help them vacation a lot better at a much higher plateau for a lot less. So, uh, most of the time they're going to tell you seven to ten days per year is how many nights they travel. And let me ask you, in the last three years, where did you go? Ba boom, ba boom, ba boom. Great, which one was your favorite? And how many times a year do you do that? Most likely they say once and we'll throw in a long weekend or something. Great. Do you see vacations for your family as a luxury or a necessity? 99% of the time they're gonna say a necessity. Mrs. Jones, may I ask, where is your dream vacation? Let's say she says Thailand. Great. Mr. Jones, where is yours? Let's say he says, I would love to go on an African safari. 
Wow, both of those are very pricey. And what is your plan to accomplish these June vacations? 99.9% of the time, they'll tell you, well, we don't have one. Precisely. Now, I ask you, throughout life, we have a tendency of planning, correct? Yes. Well, this is what we're going to try to do for you here today, is set a plan in place for your family where you are guaranteed a vacation, you're in, you're out, no matter what comes your way. And you know, I have to share with you, many of my owners have returned and said, Rui, thank you so much. Our dream vacations, which we thought we were never going to do for about another 15, 20 years, we have already done them. And why have they done them? Because they had a plan in place. There's a saying, fail to plan, plan to fail. At this point, we're going to move into the rent versus equity. 